You've probably heard about Dr. Lenz Mambundiani, a celebrity banker in Zimbabwe, and you were like, okay, so what's the big deal about this guy? I've heard about him, what, what? Can we please talk about something else? Well, unless you recently just arrived from Mars, then welcome, or you don't do Zimbabwean current affairs, let me fill you in and tell you why you need to take an interest in this guy right here. And I'm probably sure you will agree. Before 2016 and before Dr. Lenz Mambondiani happened, it was nearly impossible for the poor or many young people to open a bank account in Zimbabwe. The process was horrendously difficult. It was like trying to tie loose ends in a badly written movie. Most traditional banks, you know, they, we are your big bank and we don't need your money, approached the banking in Zimbabwe as if they were doing you a favor when you became a customer. Most banks were not poor or youth friendly. There was this one thing they demanded up front that scuttled the hopes of millions of unbanked people. It was funny because on the other hand, the banks were complaining that the people were putting their money under mattresses while the people were saying, duh, you guys are impossible to work with. So the banks demanded a proof of residence. You know, a utility bill that has your name on it. Or if you're a tenant, some document from your landlord. Some demanded pristine passport photos. And if they didn't like the pictures, then tough luck. They also wanted your last three months salary pay slips, while others went as far as asking you to get a referral letter from one of their customers in good and regular standing. In other words, it was just a nightmare. In a country with a serious housing shortage and a highly informal economy, where would a poor young person renting a room or two get a proof of residence from? I mean, asking a landlord to sign some documents that say you live at their house. Come on! Are you being for real right now? When stories of people selling other people's houses circulate like crazy in the WhatsApp groups, it was a non-starter. It was like trying to write your own mobile application the first day of coding school. But in 2016, Dr. Lenz Mambondiani did something special. As the recently appointed CEO of a fairly new Stewart Bank, he launched an innovative product that solved all the problems that most unbanked people had. It was a bank account called iSave, and all you needed was an ID to open it. For the first time in ages, a bank went out into the dusty streets of the country and registered bank accounts right there in the streets. It was a massive hit. The bank was registered over 150,000 bank accounts a month. And within a few months, it became the biggest bank in the country in terms of the number of bank accounts it held. The bank went even further and launched a diaspora account for Zimbabweans living outside the country. It solved a problem that many people had in their host countries where they could not access banking services. Remember the proof of residence issue? Dr. Mambondiani and Stuart Bank changed the lives of millions of people. People in the informal sector could now be paid through their bank accounts. The hustling youth still starting out in life now also had a bank at their disposal, just like the rich or the employed have. Dr. Mambondiani introduced a new concept in banking, banking as a service. He democratized the banking and made it accessible to the people. He disrupted the aloofness of traditional banks. His concept believed in the people and their potential. While most banks were basically interested in how much a person has, he believed that a bank that invests in the people will succeed as the people succeed. And today, Stuart Bank is a powerful brand in banking. And Dr. Mambondiani is a celebrity banker. A lot of people owe their success to what Dr. Mambondiani and Stuart Bank did in 2016. Today, he's at a different bank. He's the CEO of Bank ABC, and he's doing well. He has become a critical thought leader. He's a person you should follow if you're looking for a mentor to emulate in your life. His ideas of the future, his views of the world we live in today, and the impact of his work definitely makes him one of those special people you want to follow and interact with. Find him on social media, listen to his presentations, and see why he's a big deal. Thank you for watching and remember the book Cheers and the Legend of Mbianeanda is now available to order. Get your own copies and enjoy. So from me, stay blessed and never stop shining.